Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. So there's many different types of digital certificates, such as the IKE Public Key Cryptography Standard Number 7, 10, the X.509 certificates. Now the information that's contained on those certificates is the public key, the issuer's name, the start date, end date, the subject, the certificate revocation list, and the online certificate, certificate service providers. I'll have the certificate chains, the thumbprint algorithm, such as the MB5 or SHA-256, and then I'll have the thumbprint hash value. Now the stages of the key certificate management, this is very important. Okay, the initialization, that's going to cover the registration, the key pair generation, certificate creation, and certificate key distribution, the certificate dissemination, and key backup. So when you're on Amazon and you create your key pair for the first time, you save your private key onto your computer and then you send Amazon your public key. And so they only have that. Now the issued, that covers the certificate retrieval, certificate validation, key recovery, and key update. Now cancellation, this covers key expiration, certificate revocation, key history, and key archiving. Now the main states for revocation. So either the certificate has been revoked and it can't be reversed, and that often occurs when the private key has been breached or when the certificate trust is on hold and that can be reversed. So they would place a certificate on hold if there was a possible breach, but they're not 100% sure. But they don't want anything to work in case if it was. And now if that investigation founds that nothing was wrong, then they'll go ahead and reactivate that certificate. However, if it was compromised, then they're going to completely revoke it from there.